Hey everyone, welcome back, and in this episode we're going to be taking a little closer look at the runtime and how we can use it, utilize it to reduce the package size, or rather the, Java, the size of our JavaScript files that we send to the browser. So if we take note now, it's about uh, 370 kilobytes here, and uh, if we go to the about page, it's the same. So this vendor.js is essentially just the view library, right? So in our about.js, this is what I'm basically going to rewrite to use the view runtime. I'm going to comment this out. I'm going to make an import statement. And I'm going to import view. So view contains only the runtime and doesn't have the compiler that can compile our applications at runtime. Okay. So let's import view and let's make a new view instance. And in here, we want to call render h, h. So this h right here, the, the creator of view uses it to represent some, um, the functionality of this function, but I can't remember exactly what it is. It would be the same as using any letter, but let's just use h. I'll, I'll find the link and I'll leave his explanation for it in the description. Next thing we want to pass to the H is a component, so import statement, and let's get our hello world component. Hello world view, and now hello world, okay, and let's put it here, and then we want to mount our application to the app. So we're essentially just going to mount it to here. Okay, let's refresh and see what happens. And we're like, whoa, this is now 600, all right? 600 kilobytes. And on the about page, also 600 kilobytes. And you can see just the hello world component is getting rendered and the message isn't, right? So the message is no longer part of our app. All we have is our uh, div uh, box essentially where we put our app okay and this app gets rendered instantly because the component for this component is already pre-compiled when webpack builds the application okay so but this uh, big uh, file uh, fi big uh, vendor is a concern and we're we want to reduce the size and uh, not increase it okay so what we want to do is we want to go into our webpack. Let's actually stop webpack here. And uh, for now, I'm going to comment this line out. So I don't want to inject all the chunks. I don't want to inject the vendor, basically. <clears throat> I, I just want to inject the chunk. And I'm going to turn off optimization as well. Okay. Now let's run build. And what this is going to do, if you remember the first time we did it, it's sort of uh, all the JavaScript that belongs to the index page is going to put it in the index.js. All the JavaScript that belongs to the about page is going to put it in the about page. So let's go to the index page. And you can see that the size is 379 kilobytes, around the same as what the library was, plus the just the index.js. So that's the application on the index page. And if we go to the about page, the size is 260 kilobytes. So the 100 kilobytes that we lose here is the compiler that is used for runtime. Okay. So essentially, that's it for basically my explanation of the runtime and basically compiling at build and compiling at runtime and uh, you, it's basically just so you know the difference when you go in the future, you know this option is available. And if you don't understand it now, maybe in two, three months, you will be building something and you will be like, eh, okay, that's what he was talking about. But yeah, anyway, um, this will be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. See you in the next episode.